Time for Power Profile, sponsored by Salus Marineware. Pontoon boats have been going through some exciting changes throughout the years, and if you can believe it, it's actually become quite the competitive and fast-paced market. Now, G3 Boats is right in the thick of it with their Suncatcher pontoons. So this week on Power Profile, we're going to take a look at a 2011 Suncatcher Elite 325 Cruise. The Elite 325 Cruise falls into the best category of Suncatcher's good, better, best classification, and it's certainly worthy of this position. With its elegant black coloring, triple log performance, and a layout more comfortable than most family rooms, it truly is an elite pontoon. The interior layout features an L-shaped lounge to stern and facing seating in the bow. Now, this doesn't break any new ground in the pontoon game, but they do do it better than most. Since you'll have plenty of guests, there's storage for all their gear under the lounge seats, and the captain will have the best seat in the house. The helm keeps it simple with multi-function gauges and a cool touch is the recessed switches. For added elegance, there's even a flush-mounted Garmin system. Now one of the things that immediately caught my eye on the 325 was the position of the wet bar here to port. Many pontoons put them in front of the helm to starboard, which is fine. But by having it here on the port side, you now gain an extra boarding access here to starboard, which is a tremendous help in docking. Another bonus that comes with the third log is an added in-floor locker, perfect for skis and wakeboards. There's even a removable ski tow bar for water sports, and when it's time to change, the sun pad reveals a large changing area. The 325 is powered by Yamaha's brand new VF225 VMAX outboard that's lighter than their old VMAX two-strokes with better performance. Now you can't just simply throw a 225 horsepower motor on the back of a pontoon boat. They have to be built to withstand it. Now G3 actually uses a 12-point attachment system for their motor pod, essentially creating a transom here on the pontoon. So let's head out and see what this VMAX super high output can do. I've spent a lot of time with the new VMAX SHO and it continues to perform across all platforms. So why should a pontoon be any different? Sure enough, once the throttle was down, the super high output jumped to life and the 325 lunged forward. With a couple of hits of trim, the bow was up in the air and we were cruising along. So by taking your average pontoon boat and adding things like a third log, lifting strikes and power steering, you now basically have a sport boat masquerading as a pontoon boat. And while they'll never fully replicate a V-Haul, it's certainly fun to let them try. You almost have to change your whole approach to pontoons now and start considering them for things you wouldn't in the past. Even though we were dealing with two foot waves, the 325 ate them up and we cruised along beautifully. It wasn't rough or jarring at all. As far as turns go, the handling was impressive, but this is always the wake up call that it's still a pontoon. Rails can't even make tunes turn sharply. But that's fine. I'll sacrifice that any day to enjoy a ride on the lake at either 10 or 40 miles per hour, and the Elite 325 can do both. Now in the past, pontoon boats have had their own special class, but as of late, they started to blur the lines between them and regular runabouts. I mean, 25 feet, 225 horsepower, a ski tow bar, and seats 15? Doesn't get more versatile than that. We'll be right back after the break.